Lake and Beach Access Road. It says it closes at 10 o'clock and it's closed until 7 a.m. To our left is the Lodge and Laundry Administration. Once we get down to the beach, there's, there's the, a way you can go down there too. There's another little something. Yeah. We'll go this you, can way. Go, you can go straight or left. This is more of a dirt road. Yeah. It's pretty. You see it all the way from here. Lake Texoma. We've got our little hot rod car. We might as well drive down dirt road. We've been on worse in our RV, haven't we? That would be cool if you could go over here and boondock. Man, it's bumpy. Look at this. You could just sit here and boondock. That would be perfect. No, that's bad down there. Big craters. That is nice. There's an island out there. That's cool. No, that water's beautiful. I bet it's kind of that muddy. That is really clear. I can see the bottom of it. Wow, it's pretty. Have you, I've never been to this lake as far I as I know. Really. Yeah. So anyway, this is Lake Texoma. Yeah. This one's just more accessible. There's a couple of coves over there too. I wonder if you can get down to those. Look at the beautiful bird. What is that? Boat ramp and picnic table. Here's the pool that isn't open, the big main pool by the lodge, by, well, by the other lodge, I guess. The um, putt putt golf and the sand volleyball. And here's our campsites just across from it. That worked out perfectly. They had a bunch of open ones here. So yeah, we've got a big yard, a tree, a picnic table, lots of space. It's really pretty. And they are mowing today. So this is called Pelican Point. The next right on What is this called? Pelican Point? Pelican's Landing. Oh. Uh, is that the restaurant's name that we're going to? Yeah. Down here in the harbor, huh? Oh, is this it? Yep, looks like we're here. I think they're already here. We were meeting some family members here who lived close by. Are we masked up and ready to go? Yes, ma'am. Yep, okay. We had a nice dinner and um, came back and kids are swimming now. With my stepson and his wife and their three kids and then our, our kids and Steve's over there. Grandpa Steve. <laughs> and so um, we're going to go ride our bikes. Sailboat's turned around now. You can't really see it. Oh. Sit down. He's a little diver. Sit down. He wants to dive bad. He Sounded weird to you? <laughs> Why? Because you have another older brother and then another one that's older than that? Yes. Watch, yep. Watch my wheels when I'm driving. Oh. 
When I'm Bye bye. Back it. I see it. Oh, I yeah. see it. Yeah. Bye. bye guys. Bye. I miss seeing my Texas Longhorns. There they go. See the Longhorns? Banjo doesn't see her, or he'd be barking at him. Right, we're here. Worst roads ever. As long as a camp, as long as a campground is nice or decent, I'm not real worried about it. It's just really bad on your tires. Think about seeing cactus again. It's fun. Yep. Kind of reminds us of being back in Arizona, but yeah, Texas does have cactus and palm trees. South Texas has palm trees. Once you get down near Galveston and Padre. <laughs> Looks like a pretty place to fish or just to come out and hang out and relax. The little pond is a boat and probably a RV and boat trailer storage. Very pretty. This is where the pool and everything is. Looks like a really nice big area at the clubhouse. And I don't know if it's open yet, but we're going to find out. What Thousand Trails has been doing now is they have been, even though they have full hookups, you have to pay extra for it. So now if you want sewer at your site, you have to basically pay $3 extra per day, per ring. This is the, they have a fish cleaning station. And then this is a, you can put your kayak or your canoe in. here and then across the green space is the getaway cabins. This is called the Beach View Pavilion and they have a big uh, brick oven over there. The firing right on the water. That's real pretty. The neat tent camping area right by the pool. The pool looks nice and refreshing. The clubhouse, however, kind of looked like it was in the middle of an upgrade. Look at that space to play, girls. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, there's all kinds of space over there. one it's not bad at all it's it's actually nice it's just a uh, in a different section very spread out campground which I kind of like I just like having space this seems to have it there's a couple over there by the water I would personally rather have more grass space than be right near the water being near the water also means you might have more bugs. They have some horses there. Somebody owns some land over here as their horses back there. I guess they're okay to feed because they're feeding them unless they're their horses. There's some over here too. See girls? There's one. 
We're actually parked right, right there is the front of our rig. On the right side of that shed is the front of our rig. So they have a recycle bin here, which is good. And here's the bathrooms. And they're taking a shower, so I didn't want to film too much, just a couple clips. I thought it was going to be like upgraded because it looks like they upgraded the outside. It's really nice on the outside. The inside hasn't been upgraded. But it has a lot of stalls in there. Plenty of showers and plenty of toilet stalls. Good afternoon or morning or I think it's morning still. But we rode our bikes here to the pool. We've got Red Hot on my bike. And then all the kids' new bikes. And all the kids are here. They're getting ready so they can go swimming. The pool looks really refreshing and um, they don't provide chairs and uh, layout layout chairs but they do have a little kiddie pool and their spa is not working. The, the kiddie pool and this pool is working and they're open from I think 9 till 7 at night or 8. 9 till 7 I think. But anyway we're gonna go get in have some fun. How does this pool compare to the last one? It compares pretty closely. However, the other one, there was just a little more activity. We had some people with radio and we had kind of a good time, you know, with more people. But we're still gonna swim in this even if it's cold. Laundry, going to do laundry. Here is the laundromat over here attached to the bathrooms. Three dryers. Four front load washers, $1.50. Usually, if you want to do like a heavy duty load or hot water, they charge you an extra 50 cents. But um, I have quite a bit of laundry here, so we'll see about getting it all done. And then that's pretty much it. We're leaving tomorrow. No, I didn't see this before the kids told me, but there is a little dog run here, fenced in. Didn't look like there's any shade. Maybe a bush or two, but um, yeah, it's hidden way back in here across the street. This is all the uh, this is all the property. It has a fire hydrant in there. Looks like they have some trails back there for ATVs. Yeah, uh, we ran out of quarters, so we have to go get some quarters for the laundry. Now that's what I'm talking about. I like when they don't give you a problem. I mean, they're going to get their money right back when they open the machine. They just traded me. I got 30 bucks, three rolls of quarters. And now I can do laundry for the next two times. Yay! I don't have to worry about trying to find change. Mm, that looks so good. It smells good and it is tender. Ready to have lunch. I made some stuffing to go along with it. As well as heating up some green beans that will also go along with it. Guys, lunch is served. Just grab the fork. 